Hello and welcome back to the Scott Ree Project and today it's all about the Boudin baby. We are going to be making a stunning Boudin Noir. Now this smorgasbord of ingredients you can see in front of me, there's quite a lot. There's quite a bit of prep involved so I pre-prepped it. What I've got is two pounds of top quality pork back fat. It's all going to be diced small. Three pound of diced onions and a pound of diced apples. I've got my dry blood. We can get fresh blood in the UK unless you kill a pig yourself. Shame really. Got some brandy, some white pepper, some salt, my quatre pieces, my four spice blend I made. Check down there for that video how to make it. I got some butter, some eggs and some water. I've got my salt and pepper for seasoning and my double cream. Now, Boudin Noir, many variants in many different countries, obviously France, Belgium, in Cajun cuisine and also in Catalan cuisine. In French Caribbean, they call this Boudin Creole. How cool is that? And I suppose in England, good old black pudding. But what differentiates this from an English black pudding is adding cream which makes it lighter and obviously the apples now France as per usual there's about nine different recipes each region has its own adding apples is a northern recipe from obviously Brittany and Normandy where they grow a lot of apples and that's what we're going to be doing today so that's the jiving over let's get on and do this first thing I want to do my two pound of small diced back fat I'm going to go over to the stove now. We're just going to blanch that. That will keep tighten it up and keep it pearly white when we cut through the black pudding. So you can see then on the back, I've got a pan of boiling water straight in with my fat. We shall bring that up to the boil and just let it simmer for 10 minutes. Obviously that will tidy it all up. And like I said, keep it beautiful and white when we cut through the finished boudin. Right, let's get that on there. In the meantime, we want to get sweating down our onions. Let's get some heat under this bad boy. Right, with a bit of heat in the pan, a decent knob of butter. Another way, as if I was making English black pudding, I would use a couple of squares, dices of my back fat and just render it down and cook off my onions and that, but this is the French way, and they love their butter. Look at that. So, like I said, I've got three pounds of finely diced onions, and we'll get them sweating off. So no color then, just translucent. That will take a while. Take your time, like I said, we do not want any colour on this. I should take the heat down and just let them tick over. As you can see then, my fat is just coming up to the boil. So I should turn that down and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And these just starting to sweat. Obviously take your time with this. You know, you don't want to burn these. It will take a while. But, like I say, Think of the bigger picture, and it'll be amazing. Just gently, gently, till they go translucent. After 10 minutes then, as you can see that's been simmering. Lovely. I am going to drain the water out of that. Now I know a lot of you will be going, why are you draining the water? Why don't you use it in the dish? Well, I want it to be as pure as possible, so any scum or impurities that was in that fat, as you can see, it's a bit cloudy. There's bits I want to get rid of. So I should just strain that off. Just going to transfer my fat to a bowl. Just let it cool down gently. Look at that. Can you get turned on by a bowl of back fat? Some can. My onions starting to gently come down now. Just getting a little bit of a tinge on them so I should take the heat out a good tip add a spot of water and then just gently carry on the same as before 
Next, I want to mix my pig's blood. I've got dried pig's blood. Like I said, very rarely you get fresh pig's blood anymore unless you kill your own pigs. But in other countries, it is different. So if you can get fresh blood, you want about a litre. This is dry blood, so it's one part dry blood to five parts water. So I'm gonna put 250 grams of that into my bowl. Look at that, and it beautiful color. So with it being pure water, it is a gram for every milliliter. So we had 250 grams of dry blood five parts water to one part dry blood so we have got one kilo well one and a quarter kilos of water and we're just going to tip it in there and mix it up i love that don't know why just give it a good mix make sure all the lumps are out of it all incorporated take your time you do not want this all over your kitchen Oh my God, I've just realized I'm using my daughter's frozen whisk. She won't know. She won't know. Let it go. Go on, let it go. So that's nicely mixed up. Let's move this out of the way. The trick with things like this is having big enough containers. So I shall move that over there. This is what the final mix is going to be in. In with my blood. Into that, 250 mils of double cream. Should be that. Give it another stir up with a lovely whisk. So you wanna build a Buddha. God, I gotta get out more. Right, let's move that over there. My onions are nicely sweated down, sauteed. We'll tip those into there. Next, we want to get our apples on. Now, I know it seems like a lot of work and a lot of ingredients, but what I like about doing this is you slowly chip away at that list of ingredients. Before you know it, all that's left is that fantastic one bowl with all the goodies in. Right, back on the hob with this, some butter in, and we'll start. Same principle, sauteing our pound of apples. Into our butter then, our pound of finely diced or small diced apple. And again, on a medium heat, just saute those and a decent knob of butter right we need to let the onions cool and also when the apples are done those we want to cool but into the blood two eggs obviously you can whisk these up before you put them in i'm just going to get them in there and give it a good old whisk in with our lovely back fat And then I shall put that in the fridge while we wait for our onions and our apples. We will add them, our seasoning and our spice blend. And then it's time to stuff them. So my apples are softening nicely. Into that, a decent glug of brandy. So we put, what is it, about 60, 70 mil in there. And what we need to do is the heat up high until that is evaporated into the apples. Beautiful, there is the Normandy influence, the Brittany, the apples, the cognac or the brandy. My apples then smell, as you can imagine, just apples, butter and brandy. 
which is reduced right down and gone into the apples and some up to the angels. Oh man. I need to cool those completely. Oh, they're good. Right, we just need some puff pastry and just put that on them and we're done. Right, we need to cool those completely then with our onions. Then we can add it to the rest of our mix. Boudin noir. Right, my bowl of goodness. I'm going to add my apples, which have chilled. Scrape all them bits in. And then, sorry, my onions. Oh, my God. And my apples. Get it all in. What's not to love about this? Give it another mix. And then we will add our pepper, our salt, and our four spice blend, quatre pieces. My God, my French is shocking. Right, so my seasoning, I've got two tablespoons of white pepper, three of salt, I've got molden sea salt, that goes in. And then that beautiful spice mix I made yesterday. Check down there guys, you will see the video of how to blend this yourself. I'm just gonna put half a tablespoon in there. Time for the mix. All incorporated, and then we can get this stuffed into our skins. Let's just have a taste. Oh yeah. Well then my friends, we just need to let that chill while we get our skins ready to stuff it. But that will be coming next week. So please join me next week for part two when we stuff these and we cook them. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this episode as per usual, please press subscribe down there my friends. Find me on Facebook, Scott Ree and the Scott Ree Project. Also on Twitter at the Scott Ree Project. Until next time then, see you again. I know it's cruel, but it's worth the wait. All the best.